You know, for years, I was so angry at my family. <laughs> I thought they had thrown me to the wolves. I was in a toxic relationship. I couldn't figure out how to get out. And then when I finally got out, I realized it was my choice. I chose to stay. I chose to make excuses. I chose to feel weak and like I had no other alternative. And right now I have a friend that's going through the same thing. And it's funny because it's not romantic. It's not a husband or a wife. They're going through the issue with a step parent that's dying, that's abusive. And I keep trying to help them because I see me in them. And tonight I gave the final offer. I always have a safe place you can come if you just need an escape for a night. And they always go cold and silent. And I remember those moments. I remember getting lost in my thoughts of, I don't know what to do next. I don't know where this goes. I know change is scary. But let me tell you, if you have anyone reaching out to you, if they have a heart to reach out to you, reach back. Because the person that's reaching to you is a godsend and they're going to help you in any way that is universally possible. They're not looking for a payback. They're not looking for penance or retribution. They're looking to help you. And when you're abused, that's one of the hardest things you can believe is that someone could love you unconditionally without knowing you. So please, if you're going through this, reach back to those that are reaching to you because eventually they don't reach anymore. It is a two-way street. No one's here to save you, but there are people here to help you. It's up to you if you choose to take that help or stay a victim in your own thoughts, your own actions, and feel like you're in a dead end life. Because I was on the verge of death when I finally found the courage to say, I'm not doing this anymore. And it's only because I lived through that, that I do reach to those that are struggling with what I have dealt with. So... Someone needs to hear that message. Probably more of you than I could ever imagine. You're not alone and there are good souls out there. So if anyone's reaching to help you, even if you have to sleep on their living room floor, their couch, in their bed next to them with no intimate relations in between, take it. Take the out. Because if not, you're doing yourself in. And I'm sending this message out with great love and light because this world is so traumatized and so abused. I was there. You don't deserve to be there. No one deserves to be there. Reach for the angels that are reaching for you and let go of the devil that's holding on to you. Peace, love, and light. Bye-bye.